Welcome to Wigan and Lee Hospice's annual Light for a Life service. My name is Jo Carby and I'm the Chief Executive of the Hospice. Light for a Life is an opportunity to remember those we love and those we have lost. Later on, you will see our beautiful Light for a Life tree lit up by one of our patients. This 30-foot tree at the front of our hospice will be filled with glittering lights, all marking the life of someone special, someone important, someone who will not be forgotten. It wasn't the easiest start to a year entering 2021 in lockdown, having been separated from loved ones for much of the previous 12 months. For those who have lost someone during the pandemic, whether or not to COVID-19, grieving has been a very different journey. The restrictions meant that being with or even just seeing the person who was dying was not possible for many. This physical separation may have made losing that person even more painful than it may otherwise have been. For more than 12 months, avenues usually open to us, such as meeting up with friends or seeing family, were closed off. The grieving were unable to hug or spend time with others when they needed care, compassion and comfort the most. The pandemic also impacted on funerals, with restrictions placed on numbers, able to attend for so much of the year. This will have made the process all the more difficult for so many people. We are here with you in your grief. As individuals, we grieve in different ways. There is no right or wrong way to feel, no rule book and no timetable. Grief can be unpredictable. You may feel okay one minute and then overcome by grief the next. Gradually, you may find that the rawness of your grief is not as intense and you will find that you are able to start to reinvest in day-to-day -day living. Grief never goes away, but it becomes manageable. Tonight, we remember people we have lost in the last year and those we may have lost in years or even decades ago. I hope this service brings you comfort as we come together to remember them all. Thank you. To move through the huge and hungry darkness, step by step, against the invisible wind that blows forever around the world, carrying a candle, is an act of foolhardy hope. Surely it will be blown out. The wind is contemptuous. The darkness cannot comprehend it. How much light can this tiny flame shed on all the great issues of the day? It is as helpless as a newborn child. But look how the human hand that cradles it has become translucent, fragile and beautiful, foolish and loving, step by step. The wind is stronger than this hand and the darkness infinite around this tiny here and now flame that wavers but keeps burning, carried with such care through an uncaring world from one little place of shelter to another, an act of love. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. My name is Lisa Taylor and I am one of the hospice nurse specialists who care for patients in the community for Wigan and Lee Hospice. I am delighted to be joined by Elaine from Ashton who is one of my community patients and will switch on the lights for our tree. Light for a Life is such a special event for us at the hospice and I know it has a special place in the hearts of many of you watching. I started working at the hospice in 2004 on the inpatient unit before moving to the community team in 2009. In my 17 years at the hospice, I've met thousands of patients, I've spoken to their families, friends and others who care deeply about them. Light for a Life is about those lives and thousands of others. My colleagues and I in the hospice nurse specialist team visit you in your homes. You allow us into your lives and we feel privileged to share in our patients' final moments, weeks, days and hours of life. That time is so precious. I speak on behalf of all the teams at the hospice when I say we feel honoured to care for the people of Wigan and Lee. The pandemic has meant that the way we deliver our hospice care has had to change. For my team, this has meant working from home and some appointments by telephone or video. 
although for the most part we have continued to visit people in their own homes. It has been difficult not being able to reach out and comfort people simply by holding their hand. I would like to thank you for your Life for a Life dedications which are helping our nurses, healthcare assistants, doctors and support staff across all the hospice to provide vital care for patients from our town who need palliative or end of life care. Fundraising in the hospice has been incredibly difficult during the pandemic and your support is very much needed and appreciated. Tonight we remember those people we have loved, those people who will live on forever in our hearts. Thank you for listening and for your continued support. I'd like to ask Elaine, one of my patients, to switch on the lights of our tree in a moment. If you would like to light your own candle at this point, please do so. Once the lights are lit, there will be a short period of reflection. Thank you.
To the living, I am gone. To the sorrowful, I will never return. To the angry, I was cheated. But to the happy, I am at peace. And to the faithful, I have never left. I cannot speak, but I can listen. I cannot be seen, but I can be heard. So as you stand upon a shore gazing at a beautiful sea, as you look upon a flower and admire its simplicity, remember me. Remember me in your heart, your thoughts and your memories of the times we loved, the times we cried, the times we fought, the times we laughed. For if you always think of me, I will never have gone. This evening of light, remembrance and hope, we reach out from this place of care to all of you who have joined us online. We give thanks for the technology that makes it possible to have this time together and for all who have made this evening so special. Although we cannot come together in person, we share in the music of the brass band the joy of the children and the beauty of the tree and of this place. As this winter's night draws in, we remember the story of the angels on that first Christmas night, coming first to the shepherds with the wonderful news of the coming of the Christ child into our world. It is a story that renews hope and joy in our lives each year. It is a time to reflect on all this year has brought, on sadness and on loss, but a year which has seen so many reach out in care to each other and the enduring dedication of all staff, doctors, nurses and volunteers. We hold you all in our prayers. Whatever we face, we know that God will walk our path with us if we reach out to him in prayer. We share now in our Christmas prayer. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with us all and with all we love this Christmas time and always. Amen.
Thank you everyone for joining us for our Light for a Life service and thank you for your support this year. The hospice simply would not be here providing care for our patients and those people closest to them without the support of people like you. If you haven't yet made your dedication, there's still time to do so. Please keep watching for information on how you can do it. If, after watching the service, you feel you need help and support, it is out there. At the end of the ceremony, you will see how you can contact us in addition to a list of other organisations that provide bereavement support. Merry Christmas to you all, and may the new year bring every one of you peace and good health.